bravo. It is very accomplished performance, really, uh, and very involved. What I would like to say that you capture this uh, very well, this nervous energy and the nervous atmosphere, unsettled atmosphere of this. There is an additional quality which I think appear in Prokofiev's music at this time uh, and certainly present in all three of this war sonatas. It is a certain epic quality. Uh, you see, the thing is, what I described just before, it was not a misfortune of one person. It was the misfortune of the whole people. And the war which was imminent and came uh, to Russia actually uh, after the Senato was completed. Uh, it came to Russia in 1941. Was also not a misfortune of uh, one person. And so what I think this Senato needs kind of broader strokes in painting it. You uh, do various things which in other music would be very helpful. But here I think they kind of diminish the effect. Would you start, please? Okay, okay. In this, well, seven bars, you introduced three crescendos from piano, or at least from a smaller, uh, from a lower dynamics, mm -hmm. which I think make it kind of conventionally expressive. You play. There is no drop, and I think it should not be. the drop, but from fortissimo to forte, and stay there. Now, no piano, but forte. Okay. So, it is, you know, this is the case, as they say, when less is more. And conversely, more is less. <laughs> okay. Just do what is written, please. Okay, okay, now. This is obviously the chimes. Obviously, the, the bell chimes. Now, the function of the bells in Russian music, music is tremendous. You know, there is no, uh, no Russian historical opera without the chimes. It, it can be very, you know, jubilating uh, chimes. Uh, or something announcing the catastrophe, uh, you know. Uh, and I think that's the second where we have it. Try to make it more resonant. And 
not I would try to press less and to play more out of the piano and produce more resonant sound. staccato, non legato. Okay, good. I am going to skip because we are very limited in time. The second theme it is uh, again something new in Prokofiev music. This long, curvy melodic line, which for me always associated with the passages from his ballet music, like from Romeo, from Cinderella. And uh, Prokofiev, actually, I feel that where his genius was expressed the most naturally was the ballet. He was able to feel the plasticity of the human body. very long phrase with uh, paying attention to all these curves, but not chopping it. Okay, can notes last longer. You sound a little bit like this. Do you hear the difference? I think so, yeah. Yes. Yeah, let's try to make it less jerky. Now, you treat this passage as a texture, as a, an accompanying texture. But don't you think that it's also thematically important thing? I think it deserves. Okay, now, even this one, you I think it has an intentional mechanistic character.
It's, you, you know, I don't know. Like a machine. Like a machine. Like a train which slows down. And it doesn't slow down kind of in a gentle, natural way. No, it's also mechanical. Now, what is coming now is, of course, the recapitulation. Again, I would like you to pay more attention uh, to what is written. Look, it starts in pianissimo. Starts, by the way, with the held code, uh, held chord in the left hand, which you kind of dispense with for some reason. Yes? Now, the way you play this, what I would suggest, uh, you play with this. I would do, especially in pianissimo, more finger staccato than the wrist staccato. Then we have pianissimo, then we have piano, then we have mezzo piano uh, with crescendo to forte, which you do not do. Mezzo forte, piano, and so it goes. And I think it needs to be much more precise because in this angularity of dynamic transitions is the dramatic tension which we, uh, we must have it. In the very end, uh, this fortissimo, is written above the upper, st uh, upper step, which means uh, that it, be, uh, it relates just to the right hand. And so I think that the, the correct performance would be So I think that's what we have. I'm afraid we need to stop. Bravo. It's Thank you so much. really very good.